Oh, mercy, there goes that theme song. It's time for another Larry's Country Diner. We're going to have a good time. Rhonda Vincent and Rage is here. We're gonna... Oh, hey, I want to introduce a man who just yesterday burned 2,000 <laughs> calories. Yeah, last time he's going to leave the brownies in the oven take a nap. There's Larry! <laughs> I like that. When Luann and I were driving in from Nashville to mm -hmm. Columbia today, yeah. Drove by a church out yonder on a on a little thing, and it said, "Church with a purpose." And I thought, you know, now if that church was in Florida, they could put an aquarium in the in the lobby, and have a big porpoise in there, and go church with a porpoise. <laughs> oh, oh! I wish we had some drums. We could do a roll on that one. <laughs> uh, Promise. Speaking of, oh, thank you. He said, reaching for it. What do you want, yellow, purple? Uh, let's get green. Green? I knew she'd have another idea. A green promise. Because you'd have to dig for it. That's right. This one is Psalms 23.3. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. In Psalms 145, 18, the Lord is close to all who call on him. And I did last night. I prayed for each one of you here because in, in Nashville and all over, I mean, the weather's been squirrely. Oh, good yeah. grief. You never know when you leave house uh, when you're going to get home. <laughs> I think about those people that are stranded for hours on end out on those major throughways. And I go, I'll just stay at home with Luann. There you go. <laughs> Watch reruns of the diner. <laughs> I won't go that far. <laughs> He's really bored. <laughs> no, you were very good on some of those. Yeah. <laughs> Seems to be on the decline. Man. <laughs> we have lost a bunch of people. Oh, gosh. Ralph Emery, mm. who used to be, they called him the Johnny Carson of uh, the country music industry on TNN. Uh, he passed away a week and a half ago. Yeah. yeah. Um, Dallas Frazier. Great songwriter. Who wrote Elvira. Mm -hmm. And in, in my day, the big song was Alley Oop. Mm -hmm. Dallas Frazier wrote that. Uh, had an amazing life. And, uh, but it, it got to him too. A lot of people have underlying issues that nobody knows sure. about until the COVID thing hits in and it's like... Gee, I wish I'd lost that weight. Um, but it's a, Joe Case, who was our floor director here for many, many shows. I guess since we've been doing them in this, in this diner, uh, Joe passed away. His wife, Pam Case, worked with us and works with us still. And um, uh, the, if the, some of the crew may not be aware that it didn't take long. Man. Yeah. Mm didn't take long. And that's, I have had a friend of mine that um, was the chief audio producer for the, uh, for Jay Leno on The Tonight Show. And uh, I knew him since he was 19. Wow. And he called one day and uh, said he was going into the hospital he had COVID. Three days later, I talked to him. I said, how are you doing? He said, I'm doing great. Just doing great. Call the next morning, he's dead. Mm. You go, okay. <clears throat> What'd you have? Well, we had a lot of people pass away the last couple of years. And so I finished my um, country music legends, Gone But Not Forgotten, who have you know Jimmy Capps, Jan Howard, um, Charlie Daniels, the sad thing is that we've got so many more that's mm -hmm. passed away since I finished the book, and it's just heartbreaking. It's just heartbreaking. That's what they call epilogues. Is it? Or a second in the series of. It's funny. I mean, people, they love to know where the people are buried. They'll come to Nashville and just do a tour of the cemeteries. Yeah. Well, some of them don't hear a lot of the traditional country music fan, uh, artists you don't hear current news about them. And so you, they can go for a month and some of the fans yeah. don't even know. 
And yeah. so that's one thing we try to keep everybody updated on in our newspaper and to let them know because they feel like they're family. They, these artists, they've known yeah. all their lives. You heard about pay Rhonda. Their respects. <laughs> you heard about Rhonda? No, tell me about Rhonda. <laughs> Well, she's standing right over well, there. Good. Oh, oh, you scared me. I thought that was an I was like, imposter. Wait a minute. <laughs> Am I still breathing? That's yeah, still breathing. <laughs> You're you... scaring me, Larry. You're scaring me. <laughs> Why don't you kick us off with something over Let's there? Let's yeah. do something happier. Yeah, yeah. Rhonda and the Rage. As this said, but it's it's very true. It says, "What ain't to be just might happen." Just a little bit lighter Gonna look on the lonely days A little bit brighter My heart's been thrown around And ain't done enough laughing What is to be will be What ain't to be just might happen It don't do no good just might happen You can never tell when love might find you It could be miles away Right beside you Some makes you hurt real bad Some makes you happy What is to be will be What ain't to be just might happen And don't you know You know, that was written and released in 1972 by Porter Wagner. I remember Wagner. that. Wow. It's incredible. I remember he used to throw his hand out while he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a quick break. We'll be right back. Ooh, remember, what is to be will be and what ain't to be will probably happen on this show. Absolutely. We'll be back. <laughs> Welcome back to Larry's Country Diner. There's somebody missing in this room, and I think she's about to show up. I'm talking about Nadine, but that's Larry. He'll tell you when. When? When? <laughs> we have to have her music. She oh, doesn't go anywhere absolutely. without her she music. She doesn't no. enter without her music. Hey! <laughs> there she is! Hi. Hi. How you doing, Nadine? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? Do you have any problems getting in this morning? I slid right in. <laughs> 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 no, I had a driver this morning. Did you really? Oh, wow. Yep. 
Renee's husband. <laughs> what, uh, what did he do? He with let his... me ride in the back of the pickup. <laughs> I was going to ask what he did with his putter. Hmm? It's a golf joke. Well, uh, I don't play golf. You had a driver. <laughs> oh. Uh, butter. Oh. I thought you said butter. Oh. Butter. Butter. Oh, well. Hey. Butter, How you butter. doing, pretty lady? Hey there. I, I got to tell you, I know you get this all the time, but I was called pretty yesterday. Wow. The full statement was you're pretty annoying, but I. <laughs> Take it where you can. I just, I focus on the positive. <laughs> That's right. Well. Depends on where you punctuate it. New Year's come and gone. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the optimists stay up, watch the new year come in, and us pessimists stay up and watch the old one go out, make sure it leaves. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. I've done that the last two years. Mm. But I want to tell you all something. At any time during 2021 that I have made you mad or disappointed you or... Um, What's that other word? Um, <laughs> offended you in any way. You're just pretty darn happy like about it, right? Just suck it up, buttercups, because 2022 is going to be about the same. <laughs> 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 hey, did y'all know that Walmart was giving out free turkeys at Christmas for anybody that could outrun security? Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I made it halfway out one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Turkey fell out of my dress. I kind of, <laughs> but um, anyway, I got rid of a lot of unwanted stuff this Christmas. I went and cleaned my basement out, and I didn't want to load all that up because I didn't have anybody to help me to go over to Goodwill, so I just put it in Amazon boxes and put it on my front porch. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> cleaned That'll it out. Work. Cleaned it out. Yep. Like sure the guy did. that put a, 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 yep. put a freezer out on his porch. And said, free, take it. Wait. And uh, nobody took it until he put $50 on it. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody took it. We <laughs> stole it. We used to have a freezer on our porch. Of course, it was plugged in at that time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happened, though? Somebody broke into my garage and stole my grandkids' limbo stick. Limbo says, How low can you go? <laughs> oh. That was for you, Ben. Thank you. <laughs> no, I got to tell y'all something. What? Homer bought me. He, he went out and bought this big map of the world. I mean, it's just like, you know, and stuck it up in my kitchen. And he gave me a dart and he said, Nadine, you throw this dart and wherever it lands, when this pandemic's over, I'm gonna take you there. Saved up a little money. I said, all right. So apparently we're gonna be spending two weeks behind the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> he knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, right. Well, anyway, I'm gonna put the sign up. Okay. I heard you read one this morning. I did. I don't wanna hear it. It was um, a church with a purpose. <laughs> yeah, no. Thank God. And they, they have got signs one. down here on the street that says, you know, Presbyterians walking. Maybe it's pedestrian walking. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, most most Presbyterians don't walk, I don't think. <laughs> My uh, church sign's gonna say God allows the storm to show you that he is the only shelter. Oh, I like yeah. that. Sheltered in the arms. Well, hey, Pete, of Jesus. how you doing? Pretty fair. Yeah. Sure. You're not supposed to offend the customers in here. <laughs> well, hey. earlier she thought I was Brad Pitts. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I ain't that blind. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, ain't that old either. <laughs> I saw one that says, not to brag, but I just went in the other room and actually remembered why I went in there. Oh, the it was the bathroom, but still. <laughs> All right. Let's get another song. Yeah. Well, this is one that is kind of 
we started singing this in 2020. Chuck Mead took the song, I've Been Everywhere. Yep. And he rewrote it to say, I ain't been nowhere. So uh, we're going to sing that. Now. We're going to sing that. And we have our uh, special guest. Ben is uh, going to be joining us on Thank this song. Much. He um, ain't been nowhere ever. He Never. ever. <laughs> no. But, uh, but it's uh, from the old Hank Snow song. Yep. But now it says, uh, I ain't been nowhere. Mm -hmm. 300, count the words, Keith. Okay. 329 words in this, wow. in this song. I was traveling along, playing anywhere I could, when along came a virus and took away my livelihood. Somebody picked it up and spread it worldwide. And now for a while we have to all stay inside. You I've had about as much as I can stand. I ain't been nowhere, man. I ain't been nowhere, man. Been sitting in my chair, man. Growing out my hair, man. Sleeping up, done my share, man. I ain't been nowhere. I've been to bedroom, bathroom, living room, dining room, attic, basement, just to find an old room. Hallway, driveway, same place as yesterday. Counted 328. Uh oh, did you miss a word? I must have miscounted or you left something out. Oh, we can do it again. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and this is from our Grammy nominated uh, project, Music Is What I See. I'm, we're so excited about that, featuring all of these guys. The awesome. rage. The rage. But Ben's not with you, though. No, no, but I love the way that sounds. Maybe you have to join us, Ben. I would be honored. <laughs> the, the bus is backing up to the door now. <laughs> We gotta take a quick break. We do? Yeah. Oh, okay, well let's take a break. I ain't been nowhere either. We'll be right back. <laughs> and welcome back to Larry's Country Diner. Diners, I know you've been waiting for this. The special of the day just came out. Today's special, Rhonda Vincent's crappie flavored ice cream <laughs> with fish oil cake. Just like her hus husband, Herb, it's unique in all the world. And it, it is delicious. Yeah. Surprisingly delicious. There's Larry. He's got a funny look I thought that was crappy cake. Uh, no, no, no. That's what Herb said. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I used old oil to make a cake and did a Facebook Live one day, and he said it was, it was a yeah, crappy cake. Yeah, it was not a crappy cake. It was yeah. crappy cake. When I first went to work in Spartanburg, South Carolina, radio station there, they had me doing sports. At the uh, you doing sports? Well, yeah. <laughs> That's like me you doing. You know how sports. that went. <laughs> and it was about crappie fishing. Uh huh. 
I'd never seen it spelled. Uh -oh. I'd never heard uh -oh. of crappie. Uh -oh. And I'm going, the 15 minutes, I talked about crappy fish. <laughs> <laughs> and I... I you know, the Cra folks down in Georgia, a lot of people do call it crappy. Yeah. See? So, yeah. yeah, you were probably right on. Well, my dad See? was a fisherman, so I had that one down. But, uh. <laughs> do we need another song? We need a break. A break? Mm -hmm. right. What's that? Let's take another break right now. I'll tell you what, let's take another break. How about it? We'll be right back. Larry's Country Diner. Hey, we ain't done yet. Here's Larry. You know you're living in 2022. Mm-hmm. When you accidentally enter your pen on the microwave. Yep. You haven't played you haven't played solitaire with real cards in years. <laughs> you have at least 15 phone numbers to reach your family of three. Uh-huh. You email the person who works at the desk next to you. Your, re your, reason, your reason for not staying in touch with friends and family is they don't have email addresses. There you go. You pull in your own driveway and use your cell phone to see if anyone is there to help you carry groceries in. <laughs> Every commercial on television has a website at the bottom of the screen. Leaving the house with your, without your cell phone, which you didn't even have the first 20 or 30 years, is now a cause for panic and you turn around and go get it. You get up in the morning, you go online before you get your coffee. You start tilting your head sideways to smile. <laughs> You're reading this, it's it, nodding and laughing. Even worse, you know exactly to whom you're going to forward this message to. You're too busy to notice that there's no number nine on this list. You actually scrolled back up to check to see if there wasn't a nine on this list. And finally, you're laughing at yourself. That's some of the emails you get. I love some of them. Go on forward. This is your, to your friends. You know you want to then go click your elbow. Where is Renee? Here. <laughs> <laughs> and the mysterious voice goes here. Where was She's it? She's in the kitchen. Are you talking yes. about me or do you, you need bring me? Bring Phil's book out here. Oh, it's right here. Oh, I love that book. This uh, Renee in the last, how long have we been doing this? Oh, Lord. 13 years on the diner. Yeah. This is a compilation of things that her husband Phil has done and he writes limericks to them. He's, not just, limericks. Not, he's just not right. I mean, <laughs> well, we know that. <laughs> he's standing back there with his mouth open. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, he's what? Oh, the, yeah. What did yeah. I say? It's photographs, like ladies that. and gentlemen. My <laughs> wife has now spoken. <laughs> <laughs> these these photos are like outtakes. Yes. Yeah. They're they're funny. They're nobody would use them for anything. You wouldn't use any of these photos for for promotion <laughs> or anything. So he's taken them and he's made funnies out of them. And so there's over 400 photos in here with uh, 400, 200, 220 something of photos of diner cast and artists. We've got a whole bunch of artists in here. And he picks uh, on all of us. He does. I mean, Nobody's he's, safe he's with Phil. He's merciless. So, good. so this is, it's, uh, it's available now if you guys want to order it on my book club or it website. It is really a great. All right, Rhonda. Yeah. You got us another song. I do. I have a song. It's from our Grammy nominated CD. And you know, the Grammys were postponed, so now it's a mystery. All the voting's in, and it's now to see who won uh, the Grammys. So we're hoping for this. When do they, they announce that? They they're going to be they're postponed now <laughs> until April. Because you were on our ship one year when you heard about you. When we won, yes. we were getting ready to sail on yes. the, the diner uh, cruise, and I was watching on the internet as they announced. Rhonda Vincent and the Rage has, in 2017, we won um, the Best Bluegrass Album. Yeah, I remember so that. So we're hope you know, I prayed earnestly for that first Ooh. one, but I kind of feel selfish if I do for this one. <laughs> <laughs> but pray, you guys can pray for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that'll stop you from praying for it. <laughs> no. <laughs> but this is one, it's called, uh, I hope your name is written in the book. It's called There's a Record Book. All right. To be well known. 
Mm. Whoa. Yeah. Man. Mm. Oh. Somebody used to say that'll preach. Yeah, <laughs> that'll do it. Very good. Thank you. Would the ushers please go? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we should do an altar call now. That's so right. if you feel, we're here to pray with you, whatever you need. We're here for you. Blessings to you. That's it. We're out of here. Oh, we are? Yeah. Get That's us. it? An hour has gone by? Amazing. Larry's Country Diner. Help me out here, folks. Larry's Country Diner, where the cameras are always rolling and we, we don't, don't care. care. Yeah. <laughs> did you tell him to go to rondavinson.com, uh, Keith? I did. Ronavitz.com. Ron <laughs>